There's three strategies that I implement every single time I create a Facebook ad campaign that makes the difference between getting real estate leads and getting none. And these three strategies are essentially the core of advertising and I see so many agents often miss them. Whenever I do Facebook ad consulting with some of the clients that I work with, they're just nowhere to be found. So today I wanna share those three strategies with you and if you implement them correctly, your real estate lead generation is going to explode. Hey, Atime, if we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. We have no time to waste, so let's jump right into it. The very first thing that you absolutely need to get right every single time you launch a Facebook ad is that you need to create an offer. Oftentimes what I find is an image of a house or an image of the agent with instructions to the people that see their ads to reach out to them for their next real estate transaction. That is not an offer. That is just a vague command. You actually have to create an offer. You need to create something unique, something that has some actual value that people are going to feel compelled to give you their contact information in exchange for that offer. And that offer could be something completely new or it could be just a convenience play, meaning that it's more convenient for them to just go ahead and give you their contact information rather than go and search for the answer themselves. As an example, you can still offer a list of homes with a unique characteristic linking up that entire list. As an example, all of the homes that have no HOA, all of the homes that have a pool, all of the homes that are single story, and all of the homes that are gonna have open houses this weekend. Notice that none of those offers are actually something new. That's just a convenience play. They could easily go and try to find that somewhere else on their own, but it's just much easier for them to give you their contact information, and you get the lead, and they get the offer that you made them. Now again, the thing that actually drives this is that it has to have some perceived value to it. All right, so now on to the second strategy. This strategy will ensure that you actually see some real estate leads in your campaigns this time. And what you absolutely need to do now more than ever is split testing. Split testing is the difference between having a successful campaign and having one that is not. All right, so I wanna make sure that I convey this appropriately. Running one ad campaign and only one ad campaign for months and months at a time just is not going to work. You need to be split testing. Because what was working last month may not be working this month. And the interests that you were targeting last week aren't performing this week. So there's things that change, there's an ebb and flow, so you need to be split testing, trying to find the lower cost lead every single time. As an example, I have some very high performing ad copies that I'm able to use all across the states, but they just vary in results because of the targeting and the placement. So I have to go into every single market and split test. So while some of my EXP agents in Georgia are getting new construction leads for a dollar to two dollars consistently, in Los Angeles, they're more like two dollars to three dollars. So it just varies. Now remember, you can split test just about everything. You can split test placements, you can split test images, ad copy, targeting, basically anything. But the one thing that you must do is be consistent and only split test one variable at a time. Don't split test too because that is not gonna give you some true results. Hey, one quick second, I'll let you get right back to the video, but I wanted to ask you, is this making sense? If it is, let me know in the comment section down below and smash that like button. And the third thing you absolutely need to do in order to generate some meaningful results with your real estate lead generation is retargeting. This is the biggest opportunity for your real estate business today, retargeting. You have the capability thanks to Facebook, so use it. You're able to retarget those people that show a level of interest in you, your brand, and your ads. You're able to take people from a cold audience to a hot audience very, very quickly. And you can do all this retargeting by creating custom audiences that relate to your website, your landing pages, your lead forms, your videos, your Facebook pages, your Instagram pages, and on and on. Create those custom audiences and use them for retargeting. Just think of it this way. Retargeting is like placing a billboard in every single street that your customer is gonna drive through. That is powerful. 
and the beauty of that is that you don't need to pay for a single billboard. In fact, your billboard is right here and it gets checked very often. Now here's my guarantee. If you implement these three strategies effectively, you will see meaningful results in your real estate lead generation. Well, now that we know the core elements needed to generate some real estate leads with Facebook ads, it's time to level up. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.